10 News discovered a growing safety concern at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, but it's not the Marines at risk. It's to hikers and bikers. That's right. Mission Trails ends at the 52 right here, but the base actually extends east of the 15, and that's the danger zone. And only on 10 News, Hannah Mullins got an exclusive ride along with a base patrol tracking down people, putting their lives at risk without even knowing it. This is where Marines train to defend our country. They use the same high powered rifles they do in combat. Every Marine fires this. It's an M16 and it's made to kill. What good are we if we're not being safe and keeping each other safe? If, if we don't do that, we won't be able to do our job overseas. Staff Sergeant Daryl Quinna served in a combat zone in Iraq. Now his concern is here on home soil as a military police officer. A gunshot is a gunshot. Warmer weather means people are enjoying the outdoors, but they're bypassing warning signs about hiking and biking on base. So military police are on patrols and they're targeting trespassers. It's really critical that the Marines, uh, you know, complete their training without any interruptions. Last month, mountain bikers took a joyride just beyond the range. A ceasefire was called and they lost a day of training because they can't risk losing someone while preparing to protect the country. But that's not the only risk. Years back, there were um, uh, uh, machine gun ranges and mortar ranges, artillery ranges, old range fans that have been around since the turn of the century, and we're talking the 19th century. Okay. Colonel John Farnham, who's the commanding officer on base, says they found old mortar rounds from World War I. They clear out what they can, but want to prevent the public from stumbling on more. As time goes on, things that were buried become, come to the surface, you know, things erode, and those threats keep emerging. So they're watching and waiting. They're not trying to get you in trouble. They're trying to keep you out of it. It's our job to be ready at all times as Marines. It's... Uh, and in order to do that, we have to continuously train so we could be skilled at fighting wars and winning our nation's battles. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. And if you're caught crossing onto the base, you could get a warning for that first offense, but repeat offenders could pay hundreds of dollars in fines.